Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters appears to be testing to see if a judge will throw her in jail. A Republican clerk's trying to convince nearly every county clerk in Colorado to do a recount on the Secretary of State race she lost by a mile. Apart from her pointless searches for non-existent election rigging, her contact with the Mesa County Clerk's Office could be a fresh violation of her bond. Just last week, Clerk Peters narrowly avoided going back to jail on another bond violation for traveling out of state without permission. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger's along. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Nothing good happens after 2 a.m., right? That's when this email went out that late? After 2 a.m. Tina Peters, who is still the Republican Mesa County clerk, she's just not allowed to oversee the elections and be at work. The conditions of her bond say she cannot contact anyone at the clerk's office. This morning at 2.44 a.m., she sent an email to Mesa County Elections Director Brandy Bantz and 61 other county clerks letting them know she wants a hand recount to the primary she lost. A condition of her bond in her criminal case for tampering with her county's election equipment is to not contact anyone at the clerk's office, which might include asking for a recount of a primary she lost by 88,000 votes. Another condition of her bond is to not leave the state without the court's permission. Last week, she was in Nevada, as seen here without the court's permission. And a Mesa County District Judge last week gave her a second chance and did not have her arrested. Republican Mesa County District Attorney Dan Rubenstein is on vacation and told us he will deal with matters when he returns. Peters needed to put down a $236,000 deposit for a recount last week. She did not. And the Colorado Secretary of State Election Director told her in a letter sent yesterday before that email to the clerks that a hand recount is not allowed because state election rules require the recount to be the same method as the election being recounted, which would not be by hand. Marshall, I have a theory. Um, she likes being a martyr. It's very good for fundraising and for her political profile. And she would be way more of a martyr if she goes back to jail than if she's out on bond. We'll see what happens because the judge who said okay. he gives second chances. Yeah. Well, is there a third? Because if that's, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Thank you, Marshall.